I try not to do videos that it's just me talking. I don't want to be one of those guys that picks up the bottle and drops off the bottle and gives you the webcam thing and all the, the, the entertainment. I don't want to be John the Entertainer because John the Entertainer would probably not be a real gig worker. And I am a real full-time gig worker. And it is getting more and more difficult to make the money as fast as I need to. And when I say as fast as I need to, it's because there's this faux guidance that's been given over the years where drivers, that people that go out and they work a couple hours and, and they call themselves gig tubers, but they just do it, you know, in the evening or at set times when it's busy, which is good. That's, that's rule number one, work when it's busy. If you're gonna be a gig work, you got to go where the food's at. If you go out in the middle of the day, between 2 and 4, there's not going to be any DoorDash orders because people are working. Nobody's eating between 2 and 4. After 4, yeah, you'll probably catch more orders. If you can catch an order. <laughs> but it's so crowded. And people have been giving this guidance of, well, you need to make $2 per mile. That's that's the ratio you have to make. If I don't make $2 per mile, I don't go out. I don't take that order. Or they'll say, I, you know me, guys. I don't take bad orders. I'll sit in the parking lot and wait for a good one. And that's good if there's going to be a good one around the corner. But if you lose an hour of your day waiting for a good one, then you're just, you're, it's sucking. And the thing is, for me to be a YouTuber to talk about gig work, it wouldn't make any sense for me to tell you what to do because there's no easy answers. There's every market is different. Everybody's saturation of their market's different. You know, the stores and restaurants are changing their relationships with a lot of these gig apps. Things are changing really fast. And there's just not enough orders. Inflation's gone up so much, people don't have disposable income. So that kind of, you know, they don't order DoorDash and Grubhub as much. You know, I used to go to Panera in the morning, get my coffee in the morning. And I could usually grab an order or two off the window because there was always orders to be had in the morning. Now, not so much. There's some catering orders that people get into with some of these restaurants. But for the most part, there's just not enough orders to keep drivers busy. I remember when I started, I mean, we're talking pandemic time. <laughs> it was insanity when it came to food delivery. Now, you, you pick up a stray one when it pops every once in a while. When it's really slow, I'll turn on DoorDash. But, you know, if you're going to get a $7 to $12 order, you got to be able to get it done in a reasonable amount of time. And it goes back to that, how fast could I make money? You know, to me, I, I've, I've I'm not going to say I've mastered, but I've had a good success rate with certain gig apps that I've worked and how I work my market. But it's, it's not easy for most, you know, and a lot of drivers are quitting. A lot of people are just hanging it up. And I don't blame them. You know, if you got to put food on the table, this is not the place for you, probably. You know, this is a, a side hustle at best, you know, because you got to go out when it's busy and there's just not enough busy time right now. You know, Walmart, people are getting orders, people are working, but there's not as many good paying orders as there used to be. Some markets are oversaturated with undocumented workers still. Walmart still isn't checking IDs. You know, there's certain issues that are going on within all these gig apps. And they are under a lot of pressure to make profit. And a lot of restaurants, you know, with the new minimum wage rates out in California, they're just laying people off because that's the only way they got to cover the profit margins. 
that if you know they're raising the price on everything and cutting employees and making more employees work for less money or I shouldn't say less money but do a lot more work for that extra money so it, it's it's very it's an interesting time to watch gig work but it's a hard time and I, I don't want to get on YouTube and I haven't done a video in a couple of weeks because I don't want to get on YouTube and be dropping off deliveries you know that's that's it's it's a faux entertainment because it's not even like before it was a snapshot of out of somebody's day now it's almost staged <laughs> you know they're working hard to get enough footage together for you to do these videos which are entertainment and i'm not john the entertainer i'm john the full-time gig worker at least for a while longer we'll see you know, I have been working for the last three years, kind of with this master plan of moving to the Philippines in the winters and spending my springs and summers and early fall here in Wisconsin doing gig work. I don't know if I'll be able to tap back into gig work next year, though, after this winter coming up, you know. I'll know by the fall whether this is going to be around still, whether it's sustainable. There's so much drama in Minneapolis with, the, you know, all the drivers there. I heard Hertz rental cars making all the drivers turn their vehicles in already. And the city's rethinking the whole thing. Everybody's like panicking because they're getting down to the wire. And a lot of those gig apps that are trying to get in there don't know if they can actually cover it or not. So it'll be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see how everything pans out. But overall, things are so much slower than ever. And I'm fortunate. You know, I'm retired. Uh, I, I, I've worked really hard in the last year and made some financial moves to put myself in a position where I'm not stressed out right now. Everything, like, I still have a mortgage and I still have to pay for food, but a majority of my bills get paid by my pension. I got rid of all my credit, got rid of almost all my debt, don't have a car payment, don't have a lot of the problems that, you know, everyday Americans are struggling with every freaking day. And, you know, I, I'm going to slow down my content probably. Just because I don't want to push out content if it's not of value to you. Because this channel really isn't about me. It's never been about me. It's been about helping drivers figure out better ways to do things. And although, you know, you got to share your own testimonial, you have to share your own experiences, I don't want to be hyping up something that is an empty opportunity for others in the future, at least as a full-time hustle. But I made a New Year's resolution. I was going to try to do a new gig app every month. And I have one teed up. And I've, there's all these steps you have to go through to get signed up and all the, the, the process. And it's um, 95% there. I need a few more blocks to check. And then I'll be putting out a video. Which I think this will be a good opportunity for some people that want to get into this kind of work. But that will be out probably in the next week or two. But hopefully you guys are doing well. Leave your comments. Likes below. We'll hit you on the next one. Take care. Peace.